Hi everybody! Okay, so this is going to be my September favorites and fails because my last Friday favorites and fails, something was wrong with the file or something and I just cannot upload it for the life of me. So it's Sunday evening. You're probably going to see this Monday morning, hopefully, if I stay up late enough and edit it. If not, you know, sometime tomorrow. You're going to see this. You're going to see this today because it's the future now. Anyways, so, um, yeah, Friday Favors obviously was not up because I just had technical difficulties. Um, also, the winner to the Super 7, the winners to the Super 7 giveaway, I will have their names right here. So if you have not um, already contacted one of us, go ahead and send us a message with your mailing address. Yay! Congratulations! Um, and if you didn't win, I have so many more giveaways planned. Don't you fret, like so many. Like, I'm behind on giveaways. I have so many to do. So, don't worry. So, let's get into the favorites. Like I said, it's Sunday evening, so do mind the appearance. It's it's probably close to 9 o'clock at night, <laughs> but let's get started. So, the first thing I want to talk about is been a long-time favorite of mine. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, the whole year of 2011, I literally wore this blush non-stop. I mean, like, it was on my cheeks every single day for a year straight. <laughs> this is Benefits Bella Bomba. It's a triple dimension of pink, brightening, sculpting, and defining. Um, it's like a beautiful watermelon -y pink, and it just gives the most gorgeous, beautiful glow it's just perfect for everyday wear. It smells amazing. And look at the packaging. I mean, who doesn't love that? I don't have a lot of Benefit products, but the few things that I do have from them, I absolutely adore. And this blush just started my whole love affair with Benefit. It's amazing, and I love it. And every time I wear it, I just fall back in love with it again. So definitely, definitely check it out. I love it. I'm such a blush girl. Like, I could cry when I talk about my favorite blushes. <laughs> okay, next favorite. Um, I am going to do a whole video review and demo on this, but I just wanted to briefly tell you guys that I've been loving this. And this is um, the Bellido Studio Airbrush System. It's an airbrush machine for foundation, you know, blush and eyeshadow and stuff. And I was so intimidated by like airbrush machine guns, but it's surprisingly not that hard to use and it comes packaged so nice it comes with like protective case there's the airbrush gun um and then you attach it with the hose let me pull it out a hose <laughs> and there's the airbrush machine so like i said it's kind of hard to really show you guys all like in the favorites but it just gives a really nice airbrush finish foundation obviously because it's an airbrush foundation machine but it's so easy to use, and I don't know why I was so terrified. Like, I'm eyeshadow airbrushing, I'm still like still getting the hang of. Um, but for foundation, I absolutely love this. It does take a little bit more time, so it's not my everyday foundation. But for the nights and days, I want to look extra special. I've been using this. Okay, like I said, I will have a whole review and demo on that. Um, because yeah. Yeah, it's something you need to see. <laughs> for the days I don't want to use the airbrush foundation for days I'm either the kids are still sleeping and I want to turn on the machine or I'm tired or I'm lazy. Um, I've been, I, I mean, you guys know. I think you know. I stink and love this. This is the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Makeup. Um, I have a whole review and demo I will link somewhere here. Hi. <laughs> um, so if you want to see that, go ahead and click on that and go check it out. I absolutely love it. I think it's just the most full coverage, um, almost airbrush looking makeup that, and from the drugstore, it's especially good. I really like it. Okay, next favorites. I touched on these a little bit in my Friday favorites. Um, these are the Tarte Glamazon lipsticks. Um, I love them all. They're amazing formula. Very creamy. Very pigmented. And they won't dry your lips out, uh, very long lasting. But there are two colors in particular that I have been loving. The first one I have on is Inspired, and it's just a typical kind of everyday pink. I'd say it's kind of like a mauvey pink, and that's it right there. And 
So this is my like day to day and like work appropriate one. And then my fun one is in the color Fierce and it's a tomato red. Oh, I love it. I have red lipsticks, but I don't have a tomato red like this until, well obviously until this one, but it's just so bright. Look at that, it's like bam, bam, bam. Three bams, that's right, three of them. Three bams in your face. It's just a very bright, beautiful red, and I just feel, I feel fierce when I have it. That's a good name for it, because I'm like, wow. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, that's all for my favorites. I have two fails, two, not four. Two. Can you tell it's like nine o'clock at night? I'm like, I go to bed early, guys. <laughs> I'm like a morning person because obviously my children are. So, first fail. I know I have featured this as a fail before. This is OPI's Rapid Dry Top Coat. And it dries really fast. It dries your nails like in 60 seconds. So that's great. But what I didn't like about this before is it made my nails chip so much. Like my nails like chipped instantly in the next day. So it just did not protect my nail or my manicure. Um, as I used more and more of it, I'm like halfway through it. And the reason I kept using it, because I don't like to waste things, I just wanted to use it up and get rid of it. Well, I'm gonna toss the bottle now. I'm like halfway through and I hate it because it makes my manicure so bubbly and just ruins my manicures. If you watched my last um, drugstore makeup tutorial, you saw like my finger was smudged off because it just, it ruins your manicures. It's <laughs> Don't like. Don't like it. Don't like it. Okay, last fail. Um, I really, really wanted to love this, and I wish I did. This is from Jordania, and it's their Easy Liner for Lips, and this is a Cabernet. You guys saw it in a recent drugstore haul. I mean, just look at this color. It would be perfect. It's kind of like Max Rebel. It's just like a dark, vampy wine color. Now, I don't know if it's just mine or if I'm doing something way wrong, but I've lined my lips before with other lip liners and don't have a problem. But when on the lips, like the more you try to put it on, the more it crumbles and it smears around. Mm -hmm. And it just, like once I had it on, I was like, uh, it doesn't look that great. It's not that fantastic. You know, I wasn't overly thrilled with it. But I'm like, you know what, whatever, I'll make do with it. It was like a $1.99 or something like that. But, as the day went on, um, well not even the day went on, within the first hour of this being on, I went and checked in the mirror, and I noticed I had so much feathering, and so much bleeding, and so much color transfer, and it was just like getting all over the face, and I was starting to look like the Joker. It was just, it was not good. And that just really frustrates me, because lip liners are used to help keep your lip colors on your lips. You know, you're lining your lips so it doesn't go outside your lips. So when it goes outside your lips, it's just not good. Especially when that's what it's made for. Ugh. So, ah, uh, I love that color. If you guys know of a good lip liner that's like a dark, vampy wine like that, that will not transfer, will not smudge, will not bleed off my lips, onto my face, then totally let me know. So this was my September favorites and fails. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please thumbs it up. That helps me know what kind of videos you guys like and want to see more of. So, um, sorry this wasn't up on Friday like I had originally planned. It was going to be like Friday favorites slash September favorites. This was going to be a slash video, but computer problems? Well, not computer problems. I don't know. Something went wrong where I couldn't convert and transfer and upload. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hurt you guys all. Bye, everybody.